Hey Aries, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to your uh, mid-month reading. So let's see what that energy is for the rest of the month. Hopefully you guys don't make me want to cry again. That last reading was so intense. It was like, holy shit. Like, I was not there for that. But it was definitely enlightening. It was liberating. And I hope you guys are still in that vibe of in this beautiful awakening energy. And I appreciate your energy for that. All right, I come to you humbly, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Aries Collective needs to know? What do they need to know for the rest of the month here? Also, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, add me on IG. That is Tarot and Heal. I have pretty cool things, such as pick a cards. Also, I do personalized readings. All right. So just check out the info box below. You'll see some links to my Etsy. You'll see some merch and all that good stuff. So right now we're getting reflect on your truth. It does seem like you're still in truth seeking mode and nurture yourself first. All right. So some of you guys are definitely reflecting on the people around you, how they've been treating you, how you've been treating yourself. And you're learning how to do, you know, work on some self-care, self-love. This definitely still has a, a similar energy here. What else is going on with Aries? Oh, man. Forgive and forget. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys are realizing what's happening. People around you, make no judgments and engage higher reason. You guys are definitely going through an awakening here. And with this, you're recognizing the, the things, the toxic energy around you. And you're feeling the need to actually, um, or you should actually feel the need to forgive. You know, it might be a bit jarring. And that's why Make No Judgments is coming out. You know, sometimes when the veil is lifted, you start to see people for who they really are. You start seeing the reality of situations. And it might be jarring. Like, oh my God, I've been friends with this person for so long. I didn't realize how toxic they were. You know, make no judgments about that. You know, you're in a time where you're building and you're growing. And it doesn't mean that the other people around you are doing that as well, right? But don't judge them for that. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what's going on with Aries for the rest of the month mm. this energy is very somber very different from the Leon Sag energy for sure for shizzle yeah, let's see what's going on let's see what's going on All right. What's up with Aries? All right. We have the star coming out. Yeah, there's some healing that needs to be done. All right. Page of Cups coming out. Seven of Cups. Someone's feeling confused. You might be feeling confused about an offer that you want to give or an offer that you um, want to receive that you might be waiting on. You might be thinking about who you want to give this love to. All right. But there's some healing that needs to be done first. All right. This page of cups might have been something that um, just didn't work out. We have the two of swords here. There's something that you're failing to see, all right? And you, it might, you might just be putting the blindfolds up for yourself, you know, as you're going through this healing mode. You know, this could be the energy of being kind of defensive in a, in a good way. Like, you need to do this, right? Sometimes when we go into the healing mode, we need to just stop talking to people and just say to ourselves, you know, some of you guys might be embodying that energy, but some of you guys might be failing to see something. And we'll actually look more into that and see what's up. We do have the six of wands here. So yeah, that's the energy of being on top, feeling victory. It might be a little bit of ego here. Do so keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, what else? What else is going on? Somebody has to drop. Yeah, all right. So there's some type of ego here. Someone has to drop their defenses. All right, someone's feeling like they're on their last leg. They've been holding on for dear life. And now they're ready to just drop it. This is like, dude, all right. Jeez, my nose is itching me crazy. Which usually means you're channeling, right? You're in the flow, which is what I'm starting to realize now. That's such a weird way, weird way to let someone know that. But okay, Page of Wands, yeah, there's some type of offer or something that just didn't work out here. Someone's letting go of feeling, this feeling of feeling lost, feeling left out in the cold, feeling lonely. And so, yeah, 
They're letting go of that with the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here. All right. Someone's moving on to a happier social life. So, yeah, I definitely feel like it's the same energy. Yeah, look at that with the Justice card. You're making things right. Somebody's making things right. They're starting to feel happier or they will start feeling happier towards the end, end of the month about their social social life, social circle and all that. But it, it, it is going to have some disappointments. And I feel like you guys are already going through that. But you're going to find solace in moving on with that eight of cups. That's driving your energy right now. This is walking away from established situations, established ideas, concepts, you know, but it's just walking away from something that's no longer serving you. It worked for a bit. You know, these are these are friendships, right? These could be friendships. This could be a relationship. These are things that worked for what it was. And then you realize, oh, something's missing. You didn't realize that before. Back to something that you're being blinded to. You didn't realize that something was missing before. You might not have realized how toxic it was. You might not have realized that it wasn't that empowering. And now you're moving on to like, hey, I, I want something a little bit better. I want something more empowering. I deserve something more, you know, and you're moving on to that. And that's what's going to turn things around for you. Beautiful. Super Aries energy taking the lead out here. But I feel like this is like a slow build. A slow build to making things right. It's beautiful. All right. You're not making me cry yet. Let's see. Let's see. We're six minutes in. All right, let's see. Star card. <laughs> yeah, this is about deep healing. Someone's getting more in touch with their desires, their deepest desires here. Someone's realizing that it's more out there. Someone might have opened up their capacity, expanded their capacity to love, or expanded what they know is possible. All right. And they're realizing that they have some healing to do or they might have done some healing and realized that they can have more. You know, whatever the case is, there's some deep healing that needs to be done. All right. There's some getting in touch with your deepest self, your really your deepest desires here. That's what I'm getting. Why is the seven of cups here? There's still some confusion, though. And illusions. Why is this? Okay. All right. It's because things are coming to light. Because things are coming to light, you're realizing how toxic certain situations are. And you're realizing you have to cut it out. You might have realized you had a lot of distractions that were holding you back. And that's coming back to you. That's coming to you now. All right. These matters of the heart. For some of you, it might be relationships that you realize like, oh, man, this is a... Yeah, I handled that pretty wrong, or they handled this wrong, or this is being handled wrong right now, and I need to get out. You know, that type of energy. That's something that you were blinded to. So the male figure is coming out. It's time to take a closer look at this male figure, whoever it is that you were blinded to. Somebody was your blind spot. But now things are being, the light is being shed on the situation. You might have to take a closer look at what they're doing, what they're saying here. You might get a message. This might be an official letter or some type of, um, we do have the tower with the letter here. This might be some official letter here. Something that's going to give you clarity about a situation, about people around you. You might read something by accident, something like that. Something like that might happen, but it's going to give you some, um, a clear idea of what's happening. The things that you are blinded to here. Why is the two of swords there? Yeah, we have the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles with the seven of swords. You might come to terms with something that um, somebody, these are like shady things that happened in the past. All right. So for some of you, it might have been like a third party situation that might be coming to light. All right. With the three of pentacles here in reverse. All right. Or you might have seen how somebody was just sabotaging a situation and not cooperating. You know, something like that. But it's some type of snake energy you're going to come to terms with. It was in the dark and it's going to come out to light. Um, and that is going to kind of push you to like say, okay, you know what? I have to let this go. It's going to make it very easy for you to let go. Like I'm, not, I'm done fighting with this situation. All right. We do have the King of Wands coming out with the Nine of Wands now. All right. So let's see what's going on. I think it's going to put a fire under you. It's going to put a fire under you. You're going to be fired, be um, propelled by this injustice that happened. But you moving on is what's going to make things right. I feel like some of you are going to realize like, oh, 
I, it's good that I, I, um, I'm being pushed to leave this person, right? You're going to realize you're dodging a bullet if you leave right now, you know, something like that. And you're going to be okay with feeling left out in the cold because you're going to realize that it should happen, you know? Let's page of wands here. Okay. Some of you guys felt like this was a seed of opportunity, add some growth to it, it had legs, and then you're going to realize why it's not why it didn't play out and it's and you're going to be relieved about it you saw a seed an op of an opportunity open up and then it just didn't work out this person does feel like a soulmate but somebody wasn't putting work into the soulmate connection somebody saw that it was a seed it was a window of opportunity there was no work put in even though it was like a strong spiritual tie but you're going to realize that yeah this shouldn't have happened Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I did not do this. I'm so happy, you know, and things will be made right. Because if you were like held back about the situation and feeling hurt about it, um, yeah, you're going to get the clarity you want in this situation. So that's awesome. Why is this four of pentacles? It's going to help you um, drop it. It's going to help you move on. Some of you guys were fed up. You were, yeah, you were fed up. It was holding you back. It was holding you back because he was carrying his burden. Like, what, what, what's going on? Like, I thought I had something here. I thought we had something. And then you're going to realize, oh, no, okay, you're going to be fed up and just be like, oh, that's why. You're a snake. You're a clown. I didn't even know. But now that I do know, thank you, I'm out. All right? And you're going to set things right, sitting happy, living your best life. Tell me more about that three. Three of cups. Yeah. All right. The world card. So yeah, it's going to cause a level up. Whatever this knowledge is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to come to light. I don't see you being too hurt about it because I feel like you're already on the edge with this situation. So once you realize what's happening, then you're just like, okay, that's all I needed to know. I'm out now. You know, it has that type of energy there. So that's pretty dope. You just wanted the clarification and validation or whatever uh, before you made a move. Um... And it seems like that's what is going to happen for you, which is great. Not everyone gets that validation, right? Not everyone gets that confirmation when their intuition's telling them something. Sometimes you just have to follow it. But sometimes you actually get that confirmation like, nope, I saw this. Now I know I was right all along, you know? All right, what are they failing to see here? What are they failing to see? So I have to note that when this, when this thing comes out, whatever it is, or if it already came out, it is important, going back to this, to forgive and forget, all right? Don't don't harbor the, the bitterness about it, um, especially if it was a situation that was going on for a bit it, a, a bit, and you were already in this situation. You, you have to not, comp I'm not defending them. All right, I'm not defending them, but I will say, all right, we have the three of arrows. You're going to drop this uh, heartbreak. All right, I don't think it's, I think you're going to get over it pretty quickly. Um, I don't even know if you guys were really in a relationship or not. Um, it doesn't seem like it was something that lasted that long to cause a really hard heartbreak. It might be disappointing, if anything. Um, but yeah, you have to understand, like, when you attracted this person, Right. And you have to hold yourself accountable with for that as well. Like, yeah, something in me attracted this because I needed to learn this lesson. And when you come from that place of compassion, you, you don't really have time to judge that person for doing their job and teaching you their lesson, your lesson, your karmic lesson. All right. So when you look at the world in that way, it kind of it kind of helps to eliminate the bitterness that comes with this heartbreak sometimes. All right. That's just a different way to look at it. Um, and that's. That's one way to engage in higher reason, all right? Just know that moving forward, because now that you've elevated, um, now you can see the truth of this person. You weren't able to see it before because you are on a lower vibration. You are on their lower vibration. So now that you're on a higher vibration, you can look at them and be like, oh, I feel bad for you. <laughs> Can't wait till you grow up. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just come come at it like that. Come at it like that. Instead of looking at them like they destroyed and they were, you know. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help anybody with that. We have the Justice card. Now, these did come out in reverse and then it kind of flipped upside down. 
But it's time to cut out. Either way, it's still it's time to cut out whatever needs to be cut out and make things right. All right. But be mindful of not having that bitter energy. May, be mindful of not having that bitter energy when you cut things out. You know, don't allow it to bring your energy down because you've done a lot of work to raise your vibration here. All right. <laughs> Don't let them bring you down to their level. We do have the eight of eight of arrows here. What you're feeling to see, if you're like feeling disappointed or heartbroken now, you're going to actually this heartbreak. Ugh, my nose is itching like crazy. This heartbreak is meant for you to. Um, it, it was meant to. It was meant to be a mirror. It was meant to point out the mindsets that you had going on that would attract such a person. All right. And sometimes we don't want to hear that, but that's exactly what's going on. All right. It had to happen. And now that you've gained the clarity or you should gain the clarity, uh, learn the lesson. And I feel like you do learn the lesson because you actually get this intuitive hit. And you start realizing like, oh, I can trust myself. I was right about this all along. You know, now you can learn how to cut things out when you need to cut things out. You know, you, you don't have to stay in a situation longer than you have to. You know, you know you that you know that you can trust yourself better than you ever have before. So this won't happen again. All right. Unless you want to revert back to ignoring your intuition, then that's a totally different story. But if you learn the lesson and you learn how to listen to yourself, all right, things will be made right. Things will be made right anyway because you're moving on, moving out of this situation. All right, and that's pretty cool. Um, but that's what you're feeling to see. This is a lesson for you to learn. We do have the hierophant coming out, all right? You had to cut out certain mindsets so that you can get this level of stability. I feel like now things are going to be made right. You've been meeting people who were not, like, in your best interest. And now that you've changed this mindset, or once you change this mindset and learn the lesson, you'll start meeting people who's more of your soul family. You'll start meeting people that's more, more your speed here, all right? Awesome. Let's get this animal spirit advice. What's going on with Aries? Ooh, be peace. Yeah, you guys are you, you guys are learning some spiritual lessons. You guys are learning spiritual lessons here. And everything that's happening right now is just a it's a karmic thing for your growth. All right. Turn here we go. Turn knowledge into wisdom. That's what this is all about. And you once you know better, you do better. That's exactly what's happening here. This situation was merely a mirror to teach you how to be better. To teach you what um, your blind spots were. This person was a snake that snuck in through your blind spot. And now you know, like, okay. Won't catch me with that trick again. Help. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else? Mm-hmm. Know your worth, skunk spirit. You had some disempowering ways of thinking, some of you guys. And now you know, like, okay, I could trust myself. I know that I can, um, I don't deserve this type of behavior. You know, I'm not bugging when I'm thinking this. You know what I mean? You can actually feel more stable. You can feel more stable in your knowingness. Some of you guys are still trying to figure out what you want, what you don't want in a relationship, in love, in, in a career, whatever, in, in friendships. You know, you're trying to figure it out. Some of you guys are still trying to figure it out. Um, but you already know the truth of the situation. But you're being taught to honor your truth now. Honor your truth by giving yourself what you want. And things that, don't, that does not align with your truth, you're ready to drop it. All right? Awesome. Boss energy right there. That's moving like a, a mother effing Aries. What is that? Ram, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was just saying, like, what is that? A ram? Oh, we have the stag spirit. This is ram enough. I've got the horns. Take the lead. All right? It's time to take the lead in your own life. Don't let these people run you down. And don't let, don't compromise neither. You know what you want. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. Go get it. All right, Aries? Let's go. If this resonated, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, add me on IG. That is Tarot and Heal. Until we meet again for the February monthly reading. Oh, also, 
I do personalized readings, so check out that Etsy link below. All right, I also have some merch, and then, um, yeah, cool. Hit me up. Peace.